See what he's um, on camera as well. We're on camera as well. It's all happening. Brian Shuttle with you. Having a good day, Brian. Oh, I really good day. Fantastic. You see the video this week of Brian Shuttle with? Brian, Brian Shuttle was skating mm. at the arena mm. really off there. Allegedly. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposed to have the tryout. Yeah, he was very trying. Oh, yeah, very absolutely. Trying. Flying down that wing, weren't it? Here we have um, Hawks suspended D-man Ollie Lomax. Um, this is Ollie's sat in the stand today, sitting out his first suspension, uh, his uh, final game of his suspension. Are you looking forward to getting back on the ice, Ollie? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm chomping at the bits sat in these stands, especially at a chippy game like this when it's going off in corners. I've just got to stand and watch. It's, it's hard to do. Can't do it. <laughs> I think we've we'll probably taken less penalties than we usually do. No, I don't think we have. I, bet, I beg to differ. I think we've been short-handed more often than not tonight. You're probably right, actually. I thought from the outset it looked like a chippy game to me. Even They, they looked very up for early doors. I thought, I thought to you earlier on, it? this is going to get physical. This. We've now had two episodes, one at the end of each period, that could, could spill over there. But I think that the main thing is that we've got five yeah. off three. This year, if I was playing against us, against us we're a talented team, that's what teams are going to do. They're going to try and upset us. They're going to try and get us off the game. So we've just got to stand up for ourselves, protect the team, and just just carry on playing hockey, play our game. Teams are going to try and disrupt us. Like, nothing against Sutton, that's a, a decent game plan. Absolutely. I was going to ask you, Ollie, um, I think a, a lot of Hawks fans would like to know, um, hopefully you'll be with us next season, but how does it feel being a Blackburn lad playing for your hometown team and winning your first goal for the club? Obviously means a lot to lads, but does it mean a little bit extra being a Blackburn lad and uh, you know being at Hawks all your life apart from a few months? 
Oh yeah, definitely. Like I live three minutes from the rink, it's 1.7 miles and I can be home within five minutes after training. Definitely, I've played all my junior hockey at Blackburn since I was a kid. It's a special moment, it's a special moment when I played my first game. Every time I pull the shirt on with Blackburn on the front, it's a, it's a special moment. So yeah, like overwhelming really, but not finish yet, we want, we want to get another one and cap off a real memorable season for the club. Good, good stuff. Um, looking forward to the playoffs, I'll ask you this question. Obviously it's going to be different in some way, um, all teams there are going to be at full strength, we know that, but hopefully we will be as well. Um, without asking you to predict, you know, who, who our main sort of rivals are, can, can you see a team that, that you know, will, will cause us the most problems? I know, I know it's, it's difficult playoff hockey, but... Well, every team could potentially cause us problems. Playoff hockey is a completely different, different entity at all. The season's done with, it's two games, you win one, you're in the final, you win another, you play off champions. We've won it from the fourth before, so potentially all three contenders can, can turn us over. That's why we've got to get a pedal down, get these three games done, get three more wins, get some good training under our belts, and go in there into, into some form and really put on a show for our fans who've travelled length and breadth of the country and let's have a really good weekend and do the business. I was saying to Chris earlier on that, you know, looking, looking at all the rosters, and they've never got those goals for this time. Potential banana skins, like you said, in any, any one of the games, are potential banana skin, but I think it's all they've been in the own ring. Knowing Grubby like you know Grubby, he's not going to rest any morals. Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll have the stars. biggest roster out the level. So he's a player like Gold, he'll be back. Yeah. It will surprise me if Mitchell's phantom injury is disappeared and he's back on the roster. So, you know what I mean? They're all going to come geared up, they're all going to come three lines oh, deep. Anyone can win any game, that's why we can't rest on our laurels now we've won the league. We've got to carry on, like we said, and go into some real form. And again, you know, you, you look at the crowd today that we've got, you know, we've fetched. I know a lot of people have come back to the game today, you know, a lot of, a lot of messages given around, so a lot of people have come back to the game, but if you look down there, in this little ring, we're still filled every seat, you know, and I, I, I pointed out earlier to you, didn't I, that as the season progressed, not just this year, last year, we're now seeing people with, with replica shirts on them. I have no idea who these people are, I've never seen them before in my life. It used to be a case of us turning up to Nottingham and I went on a Sunday night and beat to be there. And, yeah. and, uh, well, you go, you go, in, you go in, like, especially I've noticed in the crowd over the last two years, there's a lot of replica shirts on them with our names on them, like, you know, I was like, how rewarding that is to see someone walking around with your, your name on the back of the shirt. That, that shows the respect, the effort that we've put in this year. Like, it's, it's overwhelming. The, the amount of fans we get is fantastic. You can't ask for any more from them. like an extra, an extra person on the ice. I thought, I thought today, uh, the remaining kid we've got left, I think mean, there's two potential for honest skins. And you know, I think today was one, next week's obviously one. It's not fair to write Manchester off, but I think it's fair to say that I think it's an extra incentive. I think it will carry us on into the playoffs. Like if we have dropped a couple of points over the season, we're already league champions. So if we did drop a point or they, they lost the game, like they're still league champions. To go undefeated, that carrot still dangling in front of us. And we want to jump on it. We want to finish this season and beat. We want to go down in history as a, a really t strong title on the side. We didn't drop any defeats. So I think that's going to carry us into the playoffs with momentum. I don't think we we are that radical different from the side we were three or four years ago. We have a crowd right to front of belief. We have a crowd thousands, hundreds of pounds into this squad. This squad has slowly got better and better and better. All right, we've had little additions every year. We haven't been out of Port Malay. We've added two. We've been there since God knows how long. Which news has been here years. Chris has been here years. Mika has been here years. dengue has been here years. It's not something that we've, you know, gone and bought the league. I just think year on year, season on season, this team, as a team, as a collective, has just got better and better and better. And the irony of that is that I think the opposition's got better as well. It's not like the league's got weaker and we've got better. Would that be a, a, a fair assumption? Yeah, but hopefully you can see out there as a group of boys, we respect the club, every player in our team respects the club the most, but we're not going to go to places like Whitley Bay and well, I've got work on a Sunday, excuses like that, that's, yeah. that's no yeah. more. Yeah. We've been to places like Nottingham with two lines like 2008, 2009, yeah. that's gone now. We respect each other as a teammate, we don't want anyone down, we don't want to let the club down, we don't want to let the fans down. 
I think not, the, 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 most, the hashtag that we have, yeah. no excuses. Yeah. You put in I that, think the most notable perfect. thing is that we, we said it earlier on. You, know, you look at our lineup now, and with, with three and a half, four lines, we're not making numbers up anymore. We're going week in, week out, everyone knows the role, nobody's late, everyone buys in to what the club and the coach is selling. You know, and that's got that has to be beneficial to a club, to a team, not turning up red tag and bobtail, you know, odd socks, odd shirts, random helmets. We look the part of ground, I don't we are a club boy. Well you've hit you've hit the nail on the head there, to have four lines and six D. You're potentially on your toes every game you play for your spots. People like Matt Barney the other week, I'll go to Barney 110% every week. Last week he didn't touch the ice. The following night it would have been, he was the best player on both sides and he's earned his spot back and he's rightfully got his place back. So you can't afford to have a night off. That's the luxury of having four lines. Four quality lines as well. Six defensemen, like, you can't afford to put a foot wrong or have a bad night. And, uh, and as well, you know, I think that, that's because your ice time isn't stretched. You're still fresh when you go on now, aren't you? We're having them three and four lines. We're not like we used to be with two and a half lines and people going out the back sides and tired and making mistakes. You can now go out for a, a minute, 45 seconds, give it a roll, change, the next line goes out. We're grinding things down, aren't we? That, like, you've got no God given right to have a spot on the roster, you've got to earn it, you've got to go out every night and earn it. Like myself, I'm suspended through my own fault, no the fault of anybody else's. I've got to go back Thursday, work hard next weekend, and I've got to go out and earn my spot back. I can't just expect to go straight back into the side, and that's a, that's a sign of a good team. On, on, on the side of the, the, the penalty minutes, you know, I, I slightly disagree with, with uh, a few comments that have talked about, like, you know, the security of the business manager. I don't agree with that at all. Watching this club week in, week out, we're, we're top of the points, we're top of the goals. And ironically, we're top of the penalty minutes. That doesn't make us a nasty side. I think that makes us a club that prefer to do the donkey work, do the graft, do the things that people don't like doing. And going into the dirty areas, would that, would that be a, a fair comment? Well, I think we'll play on the edge. That's, that's the phrase I think you're looking for. It's ice, 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 ice game. We're going to get chippy games. I think we'll play on the edge. Like tonight, we've tried to go for last at this. A hit on worked, Ray. Has Matt Viney straight in there. Greg yeah. Rogers is straight in there. Dang it. Even though he should be straight in there. He's straight in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to play on the edge. And no one's going to come in. Like Whitley Bay years ago, he kept building off the ice and laughed out of the arena. And that was an happening. Yeah. I think it's, it's, this, it's all, all for one and one for all. Exactly. It's a kick on we all then, which is... Uh, which is uh, well, we'll leave it there now, well. That's all right. We'll go. The ice is nearly ready to go then. Thanks for your time. and uh, have a word with the boys in the dressing room. Thanks for having me. And cheers, all. Look forward to seeing you on the ice next week. The ice has now been cut and... I know you might find this really hard of character for you. I'm going to have a week. I don't really know how to comment on that. I'll, but I'll have two seconds. Um, you are holding the fort. I'll hold the fort for <laughs> until the players come back on the ice. Um, if you're just joining us or your reception's a bit intermittent, uh, I'm Chris Riley making my debut on um, NIHL, uh, accompanied by Graham Lomax. And after two periods in uh, Ice Sheffield, we're on the small rink at Ice Sheffield. It is Sutton Sting nil. All three goals scored in the first period. So, um, the full team City now, so most of the Tell Aidan to go with City, yeah, he'll give, he'll give, some, he'll give some good cheers. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Don't. No, no, no. Not me either. We find ourselves, like I said, Hawks 3 to the good, going into the final period. And on the power play for a minute and six, in fact they'll be on a five on three for a minute and six seconds and a five on four for 54 seconds as Graham Lomax re-enters the commentary box. No, 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 no. <laughs> Couldn't pay for that. <laughs> Got any um, comments on this commentary? Feel free to share them on Facebook. Positive feedback, if, if there is any, or constructive criticism. We can what's take that, that one they do on BT? What, what is um, Savage and what's the other fella? What's that? What's that? There's name? a program on BT Sports, Savage and somebody else. Is it Warner? It? Savage and Warner. No, no, I don't no. know who it is. They're not as good as us, though. No, they're not. No, they're naturals. Well, it's the same league. <laughs> I am learning. I mean, Graham's a bit of a veteran at this. I am learning from uh, learning from the master. I think egotistical, <laughs> I think, the word you're looking for. Egotist. I couldn't have put it better myself, mm. Graham. I can think of other words, but we'll go with egotistical. 
I'm, I'm, I'm signing autographs later, you know, that might be queue for me around this corner. Have they been asking for you? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. Okay. It's my first one. So. All right. Yeah, that was a slash. Uh, it was a little instant after the second period. At the end of the second period, there was a nasty slash on, uh, on Adam Brittle, which has incurred a two minute infraction. Um, so we're 5 on 3 for 54 seconds. <laughs> 5 on 3 for 54 seconds, um, no doubt our top, top line will be going out of power play line, won't it? Um, so yeah, should be out in a second now. Uh, another another fantastic away following from Blackman today. Um, I basically fill in the, uh, the stand at the, uh, in the, um, in the second ice pad at Sutton. You know, as, as Ollie Lowe like just said, uh, it's fantastic to um, see so many Hawks fans following the club away this season, it really does give the boys a little bit. Yeah, it has to have, you know, it's gone in the days where we turn up right tag and boxy and people there, so that's an auto day, you know. <laughs> if we're looking at moving the club forward and we're looking to maintain our title, no doubt we will be doing. Um, surely, surely the club that um, the fans are getting, fan base, especially at home game, should be able to track them. Yeah, we're very, very, very excited.